Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn in detail about the nitrogenous bases. Now the sugar and phosphate remain same for the nucleic acids. In DNA, it is a deoxyribose sugar and the phosphate molecule. In case of RNA, it is ribose sugar and a phosphate molecule. But what makes the difference, just like individual amino acids for the proteins, what makes the difference is the nitrogenous bases. So let us see in detail the nitrogenous bases. So the learning objectives will be to identify nitrogenous bases as the building blocks for the nucleotides and to describe the properties of two important types of nitrogenous bases, the purines and the pyrimidines. Now nitrogenous bases. This is a structure of a nucleotide which we discussed in the previous video. So it has a ribose sugar, a phosphate and a base. Now this nitrogenous base is what makes the difference in the nucleic acid. Therefore the nitrogenous base can be set as the building block for the nucleic acid. Now this is a nitrogen containing heterocyclic basic ring compound. Why heterocyclic? Because despite of carbon in them, they also have nitrogen. So there are two types of atoms in the cycle. Therefore they are called heterocyclic. Basic is because of their nature. The nitrogen has a basic nature because of the presence of lone pair of electrons. Therefore they are nitrogen containing heterocyclic basic ring compounds. Now there are total five bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine and uracil. All these bases are given short forms or abbreviations on their first letter. So adenine is A, guanine is G, cytosine is C, thymine is T and uracil is U. Now at a time only one base is present. You can clearly see in the structure of nucleotide, one base is attached to one sugar. So at a time only one base will be present. Now these nitrogenous bases are basically categorized into two types, purines and pyrimidines. Let us see purines and pyrimidines. Now nitro total five bases are of two types. One type is purine and the other type is pyrimidine. Now the purine is dicyclic which means it has two cycles or two rings in it. These two cycles have nine atoms in it. Therefore, it is nine membered, dicyclic nine membered and in total only two purines are present. The two purines are adenine A, guanine G. See the structure, dicyclic nine membered in total one, two, three, four, four, four nitrogens present and there are just two types adenine and guanine. The pyrimidines in comparison are monocyclic which means they have single cycle. Single cycle, single hexagonal ring means they are six member and they are generally three type. Thymine T, cytosine C and uracil U. You can see the structure. Next, what is the difference between a purine and pyrimidine? We have already discussed in the previous slide that purines are nine membered, they are six membered. Now purines are double ring which means they are large in size, pyrimidines are single ring which means they are comparatively smaller in size. Now they have 4 nitrogens at 1, 3, 7 and 9 positions whereas pyrimidines have only 2 nitrogen at 1 and 3 position. They are of 2 types adenine and guanine, they are of 3 types cytosine, thymine and uracil. Now let us see how individual bases are present in DNA and RNA. So we told in total five bases are present but in each nucleic acid that is in deoxyribonucleic acid or ribonucleic acid only four bases are present. Let us see those bases. So bases in case of DNA will be A, T, G and C. That is adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine. These are the four bases which will be present in DNA. In RNA also four will be present, adenine, guanine, cytosine will be just the same but the difference lies where? In uracil. So in case of DNA, thymine is present. In case of RNA, uracil is present. Let us see the bases in DNA, adenine, guanine are the purines and the pyrimidines are cytosine and thymine. In case of RNA, purines are just the same, adenine and guanine. Whereas the pyrimidines are cytosine and uracil here. Now did you see the difference between thymine and uracil? Check it out. 
In case of thymine, a CH3 group is present. In case of uracil, CH3 group is absent. So this is the only difference. But this difference is very major in case of formation of the structure. Thus, to summarize, we can say that nitrogenous bases are the building blocks for nucleotides. These nitrogenous bases are of two types, purines and pyrimidines. The nitrogenous bases are nitrogen containing heterocyclic basic ring compounds. Total five bases are present, but in case only one nucleotide has one base in it. And the DNA has four bases, A, T, G, C. The RNA has four bases, A, T, C. But in case of thymine, uracil is present. So, they are divided into two categories, purines and pyrimidines. The purines are nine-membered, large in size, only two types, adenine and guanine. The pyrimidines are smaller in size. They are just six-membered and they are of three types, cytosine, thymine and uracil. So, this was all about nitrogenous bases. In the next video, we will see how the nucleotides are actually formed. Till then, thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.